The battle seemed to go yeah, the battle seemed to be going well when a shadow blocked out the sun. King Aenys the dragonfly descended upon the field and dragged him back, and all was consumed in a frenzy of fire and blood. <laughs> oh shit. Run you fools. All is lost. If it bleeds it can be killed. Torrin's an old man, he knows this is this is the last battle. And he wants revenge for his daughter. I know he's got the craven, the craven attribute, but you know that was my own fault. I clicked a thing that gave him craven. This one time I'm going to go out of character, and well, actually I've already gone out of character because I'm defending it to the last. It can come on. <laughs> I say I don't know if he can kill it, and I'm sure Torrin's not the man to do it. Uh, he's a bit old. Sixty-two-year-old man against a 35 year old man in his dragon yeah this is going to go well oh dear he didn't even come to attack actually Chris, um, Prince Baylor wow we're doing it if we're going to be kill it oh. <laughs> ah ah what madness let you think you could defeat the beast of Winterfell with a sword? You failed and you'll have to <laughs> you'll have to pay the price. Ah oh, I'm dead. <laughs> he died doing he, he died protecting what he loved, the North. Do you know what? He died a hero. <sighs> Look at the prestige, I mean four thousand prestige. He didn't do too bad in his life. He, he tried to protect Winterfell to the last. The North, he wanted independent. These Targaryens did bad things, terrible things to his daughter. Blinded her for the world to see. And he paid the price with his life. Ah, poor Torrin. Well, we shall continue with my son, King Brandon the Seventh. Though I may not, I I'm him now, technically. Um, no, he, no, I, sorry, no, I may not be the greatest ruler. I will make do. My daughter. Princess Dorna. Oh. And I have no sons. God damn it, what's wrong with you? I just probably don't have any more kids, actually. Okay. King Dorn the... <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to, I was trying to read it, and I was about to say it, and I just laughed. Um, God, I can't... See, I haven't done it from this playthrough, but I haven't really played a playthrough with dragons. It's like I say, the dragon aspect of the game, I don't know much about, so it's cool to see these events. Uh, King Torin the Just was burned alive when he tried to slay the dragon. <laughs> That's, oh, that still just makes me laugh, fool. Okay, yeah, we've lost that. <laughs> to be honest, it was all or nothing to us. If I had died, if, if, I, had, if I had not attacked it and ran away, we were going to lose anyway, I think. But by attacking it, we could have killed Aenys. I don't know if he can. You might be able to? Vassals might revolt. Oh, dear. My my brother? Draw? Help me. Help me. Tellies, please. Tellies. Okay. Actually, did he do anything to the Dawn leader? No, he didn't. He did nothing to him. He did nothing to Prince Lewin. He only sent to my door because he knew that would rattle my chip. That is how sick he is. That is why I couldn't just sit there. But, yeah, all is lost now. Look, 16,000 men. Fight. Even that would be hard for us to fight against. But, yeah. God damn it. God damn it. Can I marry my daughter off? Uh, I can't marry her off. I need to invite her to my court then. No. Damn it, her mother's going to marry her off. Hopefully she gives her a freaking matrimonial. At least something quite good. Yeah, he's not going to help. The Tullys were not there for this when we needed them. Okay. Not sure what's going on. The sound just went off. Okay. <laughs> Sorry then, that was close. I thought the game might have just frozen. I was just about to panic and shit myself and go, God damn it. But luckily, I remembered I got autosave on this one. That's fine. But, yeah. All hell is Grace Brandon of the House Stark, King of the North, King of Winter, and the First Man, Lord of Winterfell, 
and protect all the realm. The king in the north. But not for long. Yeah, we have got... I think, yeah, his son is going to give in. Uh, trusting, charitable, slowful, brave. He's brave, but... Hmm, is he dumb? <laughs> Can I fight this? Okay, I have no more men to call in. Um, we have a bit more money, so we can call in a few... 1,500... 1,600. Yeah, we can't win. Seeing so, you know, as he's been a lord of the Westerlands for a while, so I think he sort of gets the whole, you know, Targaryen's in charge. You know, it's not unusual to him. So I think he might bend the knee, particularly after seeing his father burn alive. I think that would do it to a man. Having your father get burnt alive and just being able to stand there and watch. <sighs> I'm not surprised his brother wants to rebel against me, you know. I didn't help. I wasn't there, really, was I? You know, the Westerlands didn't get help or get involved. My wife stopped me. And my brother was there. He fought the whole war. He was there when actually... Actually, the brother was there. Shit, when Tyron died. Dragon Conquest of the North. Uh So I was going to say never bend a knee. But now that Ton's dead, I think I might just do it just because it makes sense. Well, I could just keep going on. Let's just keep going on. Okay. Okay, my lord, an enemy host approaches intent on circling the castle. What shall we do? The castle is impregnable. We will be safest here. Shit, they're coming with bloody dragons though, aren't they? Okay. Kept in the castle. Send my family to hide in. I cannot risk them being captured. Ooh. Uh. I will take my family and hide until it's safe. You stay here to defend. Oh, that's so mean. He wouldn't go into hiding because he's brave. Then again, I don't think any of my family's here. Yeah, my family's in Castle Rock. It's basically just my sir, um, my brother. <sighs> yeah, I'll send the family home and they can't miss getting captured. I think you'd do that. My prisoner. Okay, let him rot. Oh no. I'm a bit more forgiving, like I say, because he's been down south for a while now. I shall be merciful. Ooh, diplomacy minus five. Yeah. The obliterator. Yeah, just let him rot. We're at war at the moment, I think, actually, yeah. <laughs> this is. Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah. They were all heading for Winterfell, weren't they? Oh god. No, don't don't head the Winterfell. You'll be destroyed. And you guys. Yeah, we're screwed. I think even a brave man can see all is lost. Even if I call in use up all my money and call in as many men as I can. Let's say we are seventy five or so each. One fifty about three of them. That's 4,500. Nowhere near enough. <coughs> oh, sorry. Military. Yeah, I can't do anything. I said till the end, but that was Torin. But his son can't do anything. What happens? Uh, Brandon Stott loses a crown named Paramount of the North, so I'm filthy to the west of us. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> It'd be King Brandon, the king who knelt, actually, wouldn't it? White piece? No. No, of course not. Surrender. Yeah, I think Brandon wants to live. He knows you know, the amount of power he has. He's got the North now. He's going to have the Westerlands when his um, child, well, his child at least, with the Westerlands in the North. Surrender. We're still in a good position. We're going to have the North and we're going to have the Westerlands. So, yeah. We'll be in a good position anyway. Uh, 
So you, even as I clicked the button, and that just happened, a shadow went down my spine. Uh, damn it. Poor King Torrin. We shall remember King Torrin. He will not be known as the Knelt, the King Who Knelt. He will be known as the King of the Just. Torrin the Just, obviously. Uh, the hand that tried to kill the dragon. I think I was actually the only one who lasted at least a good amount of time against him. Um, so and all the kingdoms are gone now. It's only River Runners left. So I think really we did quite well. We lasted way longer than the other um, kingdoms. In a way that will be sort of remembered as the dawn of this age. Because obviously as we all know in the original books and stuff blah 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 dawn is the last one to give in and yeah they're, they're known as sort of being quite you know hard to take over and stuff I, I think the north would be that instead blessings upon you and your house I accept your offer of peace you s sly bastard the I oh it's the iron throne now awesome okay so now the iron throne is now here <laughs> wow 52 um yeah the interesting thing is that the fact that yeah, we've got the Iron Throne, so that means a load of new things are going to happen. Um, the Targaryens are finally united. Westeros, almost, apart from Riverrun. Um, and Stoneway, I think, if I remember correctly. But, they've, yeah, his son, Aegon's son, managed to unite Westeros. And he's still fighting hard home. <laughs> God damn you. Vassal might revoke Jeror. Come on, Jeror. You're my brother. Ooh, looks like he got wounded in a fight in there. He was definitely brave. You know, you got to commend Jeror. He was there when his father needed him. Where were you? Where were you, Brandon? Where were you? At least he's got ice now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dear brother, may you... May your... Okay, may your humours... Humours? I'm not even sure what that's meant to mean. May your humours rot in your living body. This is a formal declaration of war. Army shall meet on the battlefield. It looks like with the death of Torin, we have civil war. Jorin believes he is the rightful Lord of Winterfell. Maybe he saw it in his green dreams. Ah. But um, yeah. So it seems like Jorah has seen in the green dreams that he is meant to be Lord of Winterfell. He fought against the might of the Targaryens while his brother sat at Westerlands. Doing nothing and then bent the knee. What will happen? Oh. Ended inconclusively. <laughs> it's no longer valid. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, well, I better... I guess i got to look at my court now. See what's going on. Okay. New points is available. Blah, blah, blah. Decide upon civil war sides. I'm not going to get involved, to be honest. Call family out of Howarden. Okay. When can I do this? At peace. Oh, okay. I have to wait then. Anything else? Ooh, I guess there's a King's Guard now. Ooh. Lord Commander, Coletta of the King's Guard. He is a Dornishman. Not the most impressive, though he's got formidable fighter, so yeah, definitely one to watch out for. Interesting. He's the only member there at the moment. There's only a Lord Commander, it seems. Okay. <sighs> Okay, well, better check out the council. Handed the king. Now, if me in charge, we have a, possibly a few changes. He's still the best with Owen, so I'll keep the flints there. Master of Laws. Ooh, the Mandalay girl. Wow. I guess it'll be her. She has had a skyrocketing rise of power. She wasn't going to have anything, and now, I I guess the others died. Uh, my brother. Master at Arms, I guess. No one's better than her. Got the reed still there. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Laws, technology, military, nothing there particularly I can think of. Factions. Let's see what factions we've got. Liege Loyalists, led by the Mandalay Woman. She's obviously trying to get on my good side. Crown Loyalists. We are obviously not going to join them, to be honest. 
I think Brandon's of the resolve that it was smart to give up, but it's not smart to be, you know, he's seen this more as in like, he gets to keep, the Starks gonna keep the position, the North is saved, and yeah, one day, hopefully, the Targaryens will fall. This, this is what we're thinking of Starks at the moment.